Today, the governor signing two bills to try and make Colorado schools safer. They hold schools accountable if they don't take action when a student poses a threat. Now, these laws inspired by Claire Davis, who died in the shooting at Arapahoe High School in 2013. 7 News reporter Amanda Zitzman live at the school this morning looking into what these bills will change exactly. Amanda? Well, Mitch, Claire's family supports these bills. They say they just don't want this to happen to another family. Right now, a full investigation is underway into how this school handled the student that shot and killed Claire before he took his own life. We later learned he was targeting his debate coach, and he had previously made death threats against another teacher. But the school deemed him not to be a high-level threat. Now, one of these bills is called the Claire Davis School Safety Act. It recognizes that schools have a responsibility to keep their students Students and staff safe. The language it uses is reasonable care, and that's something that's already used throughout Colorado law. It applies to homeowners, businesses, nonprofits, and private schools, for example. This bill now applies the same standard to Colorado public schools. So if there's a reason to believe there's a potential threat and the school does nothing, negligence is proven, then the school district would be liable for compensatory damages. $350,000 if one person is injured or killed, $900,000 if multiple people are injured or killed. But the goal here, of course, is not money, rather to provide incentives for schools to take action. The other bill establishes a committee to study school safety issues, how to identify students in crisis, and best practices for responding to students that may pose a threat. The governor is set to sign these bills into law later this afternoon.